Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek, but I am Penge and welcome back to Overcrowd. So we're still here, we're in zone 4, we're in Tarka's paddock and I've just loaded the game up and I have paused it because there seem to be a many great deal of things that we need to look at. Number one, we seem to be lacking power all of a sudden. Now, the game has been updated, I think possibly even a couple of updates since I last played. So maybe, maybe there's been some little tweaks to things because I don't recall us being quite so low on power and our generators down here are looking very empty indeed that one's ran out that one's only got a little bit of fuel in and these two are looking very minimal as well so we need to get more here more apologies i know you're relaxing i know you're having a lovely time more but you're gonna have to come over here and start refueling things really really quickly if you could do this super fast more that would be great so as soon as i unpause it more will run over to just here and start doing this and another thing that I've noticed that we've got to deal with is there's a rat. There's a rat in the station. What am I gonna do? He's just here. There's a rat in your station. Rats make your commuters ill. Exterminated with a staff equipped with a rat prod. So as well as a power issue, we've also now got vermin, which is brilliant. I'm sure that'll make everyone delighted. So the whole place is dark because the lights aren't on and there's rats. It's like some sort of horror thing. It's like some sort of horror program where we've got horrible rats lit sort of you know, looming out of the darkness. However, we can call a train. At least the track is lit. Now I'm looking up here. We need some money. We need some money very, very quickly. We've got five pounds. <laughs> that's that's not very much, really. I mean, we could buy ourselves a McDonald's and that's about it. So maybe we need to move time on. So let's do this. Let's call the train, which is good, because hopefully there is still enough power for a train. Uh, oh no, hang on. Some of the power issues seem to have sorted themselves, which is fine. That's good. However, I don't know where the train went. I thought we... Oh no, there's not enough power. Oh, more. You're crucial. You're really important now, more. <laughs> you're, you've got to be the star of the show, because you need to make this work. Oh, a commuter has become panicked in your station and is fleeing. Rodents, blood, bodies and being punched makes commuters afraid. Do you know what? Yes, I, I agree. I wouldn't be so bothered about the rodents, but certainly a pile of blood, a body and being punched would make me afraid too. And I would run away. So one of my one of the people is now running away. So they're going to generate negative reputation, obviously, because they're going to run out of the <laughs> run out of the underground screaming. So, OK, fine. Uh, ah, staff can calm panic commuters by ushering them if they have the megaphone equipped. How, is that calming? Someone yelling in your face with a megaphone? I think that might just heighten tensions a bit, but okay, right you are. Right, pause time for a second. The rat is still there being a problem. Now these are the targets. These, these are the targets that we've got to work with. We've got ourselves two platforms to finish the level and keep the uh, reputation above zero. I mean, keeping it above zero seems a little bit of a sort of <laughs> nonsensey task because it just will be above zero if we manage to just get some stuff working. So to finish this level, I think we need to do another platform. And that's fine. We can get that done. There's plenty of options. There's uh, one just here, and this one here is an underground line. So you've got the little sort of, uh, I don't know what that is, like an air outlet type thing there. So that's an underground line, I think. Can we see that if we do that? Yeah, there we go. So that one's a little bit lower down. So if we did want to use that, we'd have to start doing some digging. We'd have to start you know, going down a few levels. But we don't need to do that right now. We don't need to do that. If we can have this line here, we can have that line. We might as well have that one. So we can get another line in. That's fine. However, we could do with doing some of these other things. So let's look down this list of what we can do that's nice and easy, <laughs> that gives us big piles of cash. Now this, I think, might be new. Build a phone box. Was that there before? I don't remember that being there before. So I think we could try and go for that. That's going to be one of our uh, bond things to unlock. A level two bin gives us almost 800 monies and a cash machine gives us 509. So it might be worth unlocking those bonds, but also we need to unlock <laughs> the rat killer bond. So let's go and have a look. Let's go down into uh, procurement. Now, where is that going to be? Utilities. Is it utility? No, tools. It's going to be tools, isn't it? Right, where's the rat killer? Level one rat prod. Um, okay, do I need to buy that first? Uh, oh, I think I might need to buy... Hang on, can I buy this without the watering can? Why does a watering can lead onto a rat prod? Can I buy that first? Oh, no, right, I don't have to buy the watering can to buy the rat prod. Okay, so we've got the rat prod in. That's good. And now how about we get some of these things? Like they're going to be commerce, aren't they? So let's get a cash machine. That's two bonds. Lovely. Got that. 
um, a level two bin, and then a phone box. Where's a phone box? An amenity, I would imagine. Uh, no, not there. Would it be utility, possibly? A phone box? Not in there either. Facilities? Where would a phone box live? Oh, we can get the level two bins. That oh, That's four bonds. Oh, that's quite a lot. <laughs> that's quite a lot. We've only got six available. Yeah, maybe we won't do that right now. Maybe we won't do that right now. Now, let's take a look at utilities. Uh, no, not utilities. Facilities? No, not that one. Tools, a rat prod. £150. <laughs> it's lovely having it in pounds, not dollars. 150 quid for a rat prod. Okay, I can't afford the rat prod. Is there anything that I can sell off? Can I sell off bits of floor? Now, there's some little bits of floor over here that I could sell. Th those two could go. We can get rid of that. That's 40 That's forty pounds toward our target. I think we might just need to run the game on it. In fact, could we do that there? Look, there's another 40. People still want to walk around there, though. So we'll leave that like that. 122. Okay, right. Come out of the build thing. Now, let's, let's just run time on. Hopefully, some people will give us some money. No power. No power. Yeah, I know. We're on it. We're absolutely on it. Right. Keep refueling the generators. Just keep, keep refueling. How much fuel have we got? And we could do with two more people buying some stuff. Keep going. Keep refueling, sir. Absolutely. 150. Come on. We can get to 150. And then we can hopefully... No, we've still not got enough power for everything. We had enough power last time. I'm fairly certain we had plenty of power. Unless they've tweaked the power requirements of everything. Right. Okay. Call the train. We need the train to come in. Uh, okay. Lovely. Right. People are getting scared of the rat. Now we've got 170 almost. Now we can go in. <laughs> we can put the rat, the rat prod thing in. Okay. Rat prod. Deploy. Uh, just there. Who would like a rat prod? Uh, Mills. Mills, you're not doing anything else. You've got an available sort of slot for something. You can come and be rat man. So you can go and do that, please. Go and grab the rat prod. Come over here and get the rat, if you would be so kind. Right, what's everyone else doing? What are other people doing? Where's Mason? Mason's just sort of stood there. Uh, there's one bit of litter in there. There's none in there. There's oh, there's two in there. Is it? Well, hang on. There's a bin there with three. Yeah, go and empty the bin. Go and empty the bin. That's fine. Right, people seem to be absolutely mind-bendingly terrified of this. this to be honest, very small rat. But, um, okay. So, you grab that. Lovely. Right, yeah, are you going to go and sort the rat out? Now you've got the rat tool. Are you actually going to go and deal with it? Let's watch what he does. Okay. There's the rat there. And... Jibbity-jabbity? Jibbity... Is he jibbity-jabbity? Oh, he's trying to jibbity-jabbity the rat. He's giving it... And... Right, the rat has sort of exploded. Do I need to... What do we do with that? <laughs> there's there's now gore and blood on the station floor. People aren't going to like that, are they? How do I? Is it? Do I need to litter pick that? Oh no, it's just gone. Are we just? It just sort of it just tidies itself up, does it? Okay, right. Nature happens and it just cleans itself up. Okay, <laughs> marvelous. Right, one rat down. That's a good thing. Now we need to save up some money to maybe get ourselves. Hang on, how much is a level two bin? Oh, no, we didn't unlock the level two bins, did we? What did we unlock? Oh, the cash machine. That was it. Uh, where would that be? Commerce. How much is a cash machine? £225 to put down. Okay, fine. Maybe we'll have to wait for a little while <laughs> till we can do something else. Uh, right, Mason, uh, go and do some litter picking over there. You can go and do some litter picking just there because that's now quite full. Taylor is quite happy standing on the station yelling at people. I assume, although he's not got the megaphone. Oh, there you go. You've got the megaphone. Lovely. Right, yeah, these people are feeling a bit crowded. Taylor, come over that way, would you please? Do some yelling at people. They're emptying things. Is this good? Right, more. What are you looking like over here? Everything's looking pretty good in there, more, isn't it? Everything's looking okay. Okay, fine. You stay there. It's very important that you stay there. Mills is bringing some trash. We're getting some money slowly but surely bought in. Let's move some more people around. Got three train cars coming in. So yeah, there you go. So 11 people are going to get off. We're hopefully going to start moving some people around as well. Right. You're going to shout at some people. Good. That person doesn't feel crowded anymore. Mills is... Mills is doing something. What are you doing, Mills? You're just going to go and stand by the bin. You're standing by the bin there, yeah? Okay, good. Right, come over here. Mills, stand over there temporarily and just, and just kind of keep an eye on what's going on. Okay, we need... We still need more money. <laughs> <laughs> we still don't have enough money. All these people are buying tickets and they're all very happy. And it's lovely. It's lovely that we're getting some money. But what did we need for it? 225. Oh, come on. Couple more people. 
Couple more people. One more person. Someone buy a ticket. Yes. Right. Okay. Cash machine. The cash machine can sit just there. Uh, it does. It's in red. Cost two two five. I've got two two seven. So I don't kind of know what the problem is there. But if I put that down, I get given five hundred nine monies from the government or whoever gives me that money. So that's quite nice. I've now got a cash machine in. Hooray! <laughs> We've done a thing. Um, okay, Mason. So stand in the middle somewhere. Deal with deal with the uh, deal with litter issues if you would be so kind. Right, there's no rats, which is nice. Oh, another train. Call that in, please. Call the train. There we go. Thank you. Move more people around. More bonds. We need what twenty more people to get some more bonds. However, what we could do now is procurement-wise infrastructure. Let's get ourselves access to a second platform. Unlocks a second platform. So let's get that. That's going to cost us five of our ten bonds, but that's fine. We need that to do something. So now we can finish this level in theory. <laughs> we've got we've got the option to finish the level. We are going to need one of these as well. We're going to need either a footbridge or a staircase. So that lets them walk up and down to new levels. That is just a footbridge. Build a pedestrian bridge to safely allow commuters to get from one side of track to another. One of your commuters has flown into an apoplectic rage. Okay. Was that piece of litter or not being able to buy breakfast? No one can say. Whatever the reason, they've well and truly flipped. To vent their... Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. To vent their anger, they will punch nearby commuters, creating pools of blood and sometimes knocking them out. This person possibly needs to be thrown into some sort of prison or some sort of asylum. Uh, your staff can caution or taser enraged commuters if they have the right tool. I've got a rat taser. Can I taser you with the rat taser? Um, I can. Ah, hang on. I can caution this person. Wait there. Taylor, where's the angry bod? You there. Go, go and don't hit anybody. Oh, you... Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> no, 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 Taylor. No, 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 Taylor. No, 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 no. Go crime desk them. Go and caution them. They've just actually just smacked someone in the face. Stop the criminal. And then, where's our, Where's 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 uh, the person who can bring people back to life? Who's got the who's got the medical kit? Oh, is Mills on the way? I think Mills might be... Oh, no, Mills isn't on the way. Mills doesn't care. Um, Can we help this person? This person's knocked out. Can we help them? Right, you're going you're gonna to arrest that person, which is good. So they're now going away. You've been arrested. You're going to jail. Absolutely. Get in the slammer, bad guy. Uh, and now... Okay, right. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Right, now there's, there's blood on the floor. How do I clean up blood? Uh, is, there a, is there a thing? Oh, is there another tool? Is there another tool I need? Oh, my goodness me. How many tools? A mop. Uh, okay, yeah. Liquid waste will cause commuters. And liquid waste is going to mean blood, isn't it? So now we need a mop. So we're going to need to equip somebody with a mop. <laughs> My goodness. Right, refuel that generator more. Let's keep all the power running. Oh, and that's broken. Oh, my goodness me. Running this place is hard work. Okay. Uh, Mason is just sort of stood about looking a little bit confused with things. Go and empty that bin, Mason. <laughs> that, can be your, that can be your big job. Uh, Taylor. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. Switch back to your megaphone and just sort of go and stand over here. Go and stand over there somewhere, Taylor. Go and stand over here, look. That'll uncrowd the station. And then Mills. Right, hang on. How do we bring people back to life? Is that in tools? Um, we haven't got like a... We've got a first aid kit. Oh, a defibrillator. Helps equip staff with defibrillators. They can help commuters have a heart attack before they die. I don't... Are you... I think you're just unconscious. Computers knocked out. A staff member can revive them with the med kit. Oh, you've got a med kit. Oh, go, absolutely. Go and help them. Go and bring them back around. Yeah, that's it. There we go. Lovely. Right. They're back They're back alive. This is good. Right. Mills, um, go and stand in the middle again. See, I thought if Mills is in the middle and Mills was near... Oh, my gosh. Our ticket machines are both broken. <laughs> both the ticket machines are broken. Are you actually joking? Hang on. Hang on. Where's Where's Bod? Where's Bod? Oh, more, it's more trying to fix it. Oh, well done, Moore. Good job. Moore is trying to repair the thing. However, Moore, this one is also broken. So could could you fix that one as well, please, my good sir? Um, that one is still allegedly not enough power. And it's broken. Hang on, didn't you just repair it? It just said repaired. Oh, our reputation's taking an absolute kicking. A member of staff is hungry. Oh, my word. Can they not take care of themselves a little tiny bit? Call a train. Right, who's hungry? <laughs> Which one of you is a little bit hungry? Taylor. Taylor. 
You're very important, though, because you've got the megaphone. Right, go, go and get some food very quickly. Go and run and get some food very quickly. Also, that bin is alarmingly full. Mason, go go clean the bin. Go tidy the bin, please. Okay, that's good. Mills is just sort of standing about. Can Mills empty a bin whilst we're here? Yeah, might as well just empty a bin. That'll do. And right, that's fixed. Moore is back on mending this thing again. Okay, that's fine. Uh, there's some sort of weird... I don't understand why there's smoke coming out of these things, but okay. I assume it's just been repaired and it's it's still, yeah, it's it's still a little bit little bit broken. Maybe there's some sparks inside it, but we've just sort of patched it up enough. Right. Mason, well done. Can you go are you gonna go and get yourself a drink, Mason? Is that where you're going? Because I bet you're just marching straight off to the staff room. You don't yeah, you don't do anything else on your own. You don't do anything else on your own. <laughs> Hang on. Is Mills injured? Mills seems to be bleeding. Mills. Mills, what's going on here? What is that coming out of you, Mills? Are you bleeding? I'm very confused. Very confused. Now, there's no power. It's well lit, but there's there's no power. All the, four, the generators are all full. Yeah, they're all running. I don't really understand why there says there's no power. And we've got a fumes thing just here, which again, I find a bit weird. Is it these machines? I don't know kind of how to move fumes yet. A few people said put in the ventilator things, which probably would help. Um, who have I got selected? Mills. Um, okay. Mills. What can you do? You don't need the... We don't need to sort of defibrillate... Not defibrillate. We don't need to sort of first aid anybody. There's no rats to kill, I don't think. No, so there's no rats. So, oh no. Oh, the train's broken. Oh, marvellous. Right. What I need to do is I need to figure out how they automate themselves a bit better. Because um, where's... Oh, where's Taylor, however? No, who's who's the fixer? Who's the fixy person? More. Oh, he, right, he's still fixing this, is he? No, no, see, Moore's just sort of stood there. He's just sort of stood around, not doing anything. So if I tell him, uh, go to there, management, give you the toolkit as number one, and then say, right, there you go. That's your priority one slot. Go and deal with broken things. Like, what if I put him there? Does he go and fix the train automatically? Or do I have to keep telling him to go and fix the train? Yeah, look, he's just... Oh, no, he is fixing the train. Right, he's he's hitting the entire train <laughs> with a very small sort of uh, spanner. And it's fixing the train with magic dust. Okay. But now everyone's complaining that they're all... That they're overcrowded because there's no one shouting at them with a megaphone. Right, you need to get the heck back out there, Taylor. You get out there. It's like yelling at people. Right, marvellous. Okay, more. You deserve a little... You deserve a drink, I think. More wants a drink. Mason, you want a drink. Mills, you want a drink. Everyone come in and have a drink. There's some sort of fumes going on here. Right, pause time for a second. Pause, pause, pause. And let's have a look what we can do with these fumes. In here somewhere was a vent. A level one vent. Place air vents on concourse walls to help dissipate heat. One bond out of seven. We'll get that. And now, up here, there is a heat thingamajig. The only thing is that nothing is hot. Everything is cold. <laughs> Everything is very chilly, I would say. So I don't know if that's going to help. I don't know if that's going to be of any use. However, would a fan be good? Because cool down commuters. Oh, is it an air purifier? Ah, yeah, we can't put that in. This device totally sucks. It would draw any noxious fumes in from nearby and remove them. That's what we need. But we can't have that on this station. I wonder if an air vent would just would just help a little bit. How expensive is an air vent? 50 monies. Oh, do you know what? Should we just pop one of those in? Let's just put one there. And just see if that makes any difference at all. Does, it, does, does that work? Can we have one in there somewhere? Can we have one here? No, I don't, I don't know where we can put one of these things over this side. Um, but there's no fumes over there. Oh, there is a little bit of fumes, actually. Must build in concourse. No, botherations. Yeah, okay. Can't build on top of other objects. I know. If we could put one there. Let's just see if that does anything. I like that, that air vent that just goes <laughs> straight into a load of solid rock. But okay. Uh, and we'll put one there. And we'll just see if that makes any difference at all. I imagine it's not going to make the slightest bit of difference. And these people are all, for some reason, choking. And all that kind of stuff. It's a, it's a bit of a weird thing. We can't do. Gas is generated by full bins or generators. It makes commuters ill and harms upset staff. Well, the generators are over here in a in a room with a door. So that shouldn't be bothering them. And that bin doesn't look particularly full either. So what is generating the noxious fumes? 
I do not know. I'm not entirely sure. Um, okay, fine. We'll just have to sort of hope that that goes away. <laughs> we'll just hope that that goes away. Taylor's doing a good job on the station. Right, Mills also probably wants something to eat as well. So Mills can get a drink. Then Mills, do I have to actually tell you to get some food? Because it says you're hungry. Mason needs to have a drink as well. Um, okay, it's coming up to night time, which is good. Because that means that hopefully some of these fumes will go away. Yeah, look, that light is just generating fumes. There's just fumes in the middle of the room. Which I don't really understand because there's no full bins or anything. I don't really know what's going on there. Right, call a train. 12 people getting off. This is all good. Now, what else can we build? A phone box or a bin? Let's get ourselves. Let's unlock level two bins. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go crazy, everybody. Let's get level two bins, wherever they might be. Facilities, possibly? Level two bins. Four of the six bonds that we've got. Yes, please. And then let's build ourselves a level two bin. And we shall get a big pile of money for it. So there we go. Level two bin. Where should we put the level two bin? Um, uh, uh, there, there. Oh, oh, okay. Hang on. Right. Yay. Stuff has happened. Uh, so we did some good reputation gaining on complete journeys that's quite nice but blood fumes and overcrowded now the fumes like mm, a little bit confused what we can do with the fumes i'm not entirely sure what we can do with that blood yeah fair enough there was some blood and overcrowded yeah because our people are in here obviously doing other stuff so okay right away goes the train it's all shut right where can we put this bin let's just put it just there because we get given some money for that. And now, what I'm going to do is, let's pause time for a sec. Um, some people have said in the comments, yeah, so we can do something with this. This is their schedule. So this is, click to select staff room break times. So does this mean they're always working? So what if I click that? Ah, so I can say, you, Lucas Moore, at the time of whatever, then, Go and get yourself a little break. So they work They work 24 hours. <laughs> they never go home. They're always here. But you can say, Lucas, go and have a little sit down between there and there. So that's what we can do. We can tell them to go and have a break. So between 11 and 1, two hours. Two hour lunch break. Good grief. And then between 11 and 1, you can go, oh, hang on, that's not very good, is it? We've shut at 11 and 1. Um, and then let's get everybody maybe everybody can have a little sit down there uh no, that's like a four hour sit down that's like a four hour sit down <laughs> that's plenty of time so that's lucas moore so now taylor will have you go in there and there maybe and the last two right mason management you can have the last two we'll put one there and one there say and who have we not got done mills mills the last two have a break uh, Mills, you can kind of go middle of the day kind of thing. There we go. So we'll see if that does anything. Now, what does auto rest obviously do? But when so, the staff will automatically use amenities when needed. I mean, do we just put that on and they just go and do stuff as required? That would be great. That would be really handy. But I'd kind of like to have a bit of control over it. So we'll see if that works. We'll see if that does something. Now, what does putting them off shift do? Take a member of staff off shift. Staff do not need to be paid off shift, but they will not reduce hunger, thirst, or other needs whilst away. So we can take them off shift. We don't pay them anything, but they don't come back feeling any better. Okay, uh, right, Taylor, it's coming up to the time when you can have a break. However, we do need to do some work around the place. So let's go and repair some stuff. Uh, we also need to empty some bins. So let's just go and do general sort of admin while there's no one around. Let's just go and sort of uh, get stuff all nice and tidy. Oh, look, more can level up. I hadn't noticed. I wonder how long that's been there. More can level up. He's got 141 out of 98 XP. I wonder if that's because he's been mending things quite so much. So let's have a look. So what can we give him? So strength is how many tools you can carry. Okay, so we can carry two at the moment. So strength three to four means two. Strength five to seven means he can carry three tools. Speed is obviously how fast they move. Stamina is how fast your staff member recovers after carrying out or attempting to carry out a task. And perception is the radius over which your staff member will automatically move to carry out their highest priority task. Oh, that's what we want. We want them to have a high perception so I don't have to micromanage them quite so much. So let's give them... Let's give him a point of perception and then let's say 
Yes, level up. Okay, he's become a little bit better. How near is everyone else to leveling up? How near is everyone else? 63 out of 87. Now, yeah, when I look back at Ethan now, I mean, he's very quick. He's not very good at anything else. <laughs> sorry, sorry, buddy. But, you know, um, you're nowhere near. And Mason is, yeah, sort of getting there. Sort of getting there. Mason is a little, still a little bit full of despair, but okay, that's fine. <laughs> so everyone can just chill out for a bit because we've not quite opened up yet. We do still have some fumes. I also think broken things generate fumes. I think when something's broken, it generates fumes because that thing there, that turnstile was broken. We've just mended it and it's now got lots of noxious fume things by it, which would explain why that and that were giving off fumes as well. So yeah, it doesn't say that specifically in the little tooltip, but I think that's what happened. So I don't know. Maybe the gears will break and it gives off a horrible kind of you know, melty plastic smell or something. I don't know. But whatever the case, that's giving off fumes. Hopefully that'll be gone by the time we open. Okay, we need to spend 125 monies to get ourselves a mop. I mean, that is one expensive mop right there. That is a very expensive mop. Also, more refuel that generator, please, if you'll be so kind. Um, who's got space to have a mop? Right, Mills. Mills, Mills, Mills. Okay, Mills, come here. Unequip the rat prod. In fact, I've already got a litter picker person. Unequip the litter picker. You'll go and do that, hopefully. Um, oh no, it just magically appeared back over there. The litter picker is just sort of teleported over there without him having to do anything with it. Okay, that's fine. Right, go and pick up the mop. Before we open, we need to make sure that this pool of blood just here <laughs> is washed away. Can we hire more staff? Oh, we can hire more staff. Oh, this is beautiful. We've got two bonds left and it costs two bonds to hire somebody. We want somebody who can hold some stuff. So you've got... Your perception is very good. Isla Phillips' perception is good, but she's only got a strength of one. So she'll only be able to hold one item... Samuel Reed, however, has got strength of three. So you can hold two items. Your perception is good, but your stamina is terrible. So you're just going to be exhausted all the time. Oh, there's no one that's any good. <laughs> Noah Mitchell, you only want four an hour. Oh, because you're 18. Oh, that, that's well done you. Getting a job. Well done, Noah. Um, you've got a lot of speed. Not very strong. No, let's not get you. Um, who is... You're, you're good. Samuel Reed has got some good skills going on down here. Not medical, but everything else is looking very, very good. Shall we just get you? You seem okay. We just have to put up with you being a little bit tired. Let's hire Samuel Reed. And you, Samuel, you can be Mop Man. You can go and have that mop. That's fine. Now, Mills, I've told you to go and get the mop. You don't need the mop. Mills, you just stand about. In fact, go and grab the litter picker again, Mills. You can do that. We can all sort of multitask. It'll all be fine. Where's more going? I don't know. So you can grab that. Right, Reed is now going to go and clean up the blood, maybe? Is that what you're doing, Reed? Is that where you're going? Tell me that's where you're going. Yes, well done, Reed. Welcome aboard. Okay, everyone else is retiring to here. Now, can we build another door? Can we build another door in this room? I'm not entirely convinced we can. I'd love to be able to get them to come into the staff room from down here as well, but I'm, I don't think they can do it, um, which is a bit of a problem. It's a bit of a problem, but okay. Right, so Reed's just sort of going to stand there for a bit. Um, how about, how about, right, more, put away, uh, where's more? There, more, put away the jerry can. Unequip the jerry can, magically teleport it back to where it needs to be. And Reed, you go and grab the jerry can. Lovely. And now you refill things. Oh, it needs... A, oh, have we ran out of fuel? Right. We ran out of fuel in the fuel barrel. I suspect we may need to get ourselves another fuel barrel. It's probably not so bad right now. But... Because it will stock itself back up at 7 o'clock possibly. But tomorrow, I bet we're going to burn through those. I bet we're going to absolutely fly through the fuel. So we need to get ourselves another fuel barrel. So we'll buy it after the morning thing's done. So we don't pay extra money to top it back up again. Everyone else is over here relaxing. Do you know what we do need to do? We need to get another uncomfortable chair. And also, staff TV set. We can put that in now. I mean, I can't really see where it's going to go. There! Let's just pop the telly in. <gasps> yes, no, look at, <laughs> look at how modern the telly is. And those VHS cassettes underneath, I can see. Oh, the future truly is here. Right, okay. Move time on. 
Let's see what happens. Yeah, we've got no nothing's powered. Nothing's powered. Everything's got all flickery screens. It's all going a bit weird. Oh, wow. They seem to be watching some sort of Amstrad loading screen. <laughs> this is the best television program ever. And all it took was a little bit of television, a little bit of whatever this program's supposed to be, to make Mason's despair just vanish. Oh, just a little bit of telly and she is absolutely as happy as Larry. Well done. Well done, Mason. And maybe you could, you know, crack a smile. Right. We have opened up. Okay, this is excellent. So... We're a bit low on power. So Reed, I think, is already on this. Well done, Reed. Right. Barrel. Put another barrel in. Um, what? That blocks the barrel. Oh! Oh, I've got that barrel slightly oddly oriented. Okay. Let's put another barrel just there. I think we need another barrel. I think that's got to be a good thing. So we've got more fuel going on. He is restocking that stuff automatically. So well done, Reed. This is good news. So hopefully all these things will ping back into life. We will summon a train as well. So let's get a train. It's only two out of 12 people. It's only seven in the morning. It's fine. So now let's see how we get on today. Everyone should be fairly chilled out right now. Like Taylor, you should have, you should be all sort of, you know, ready to go. Hopefully you can level up soon as well. Maybe increase your stamina possibly. So Taylor, you've got the megaphone. Go and stand over there and just yell at people. That'd be grand. And then more... Come back over this way, because it's likely that stuff's going to break over here. So you could go and mend stuff over there. That will be good as well. And um, let's just see how we get on. So Mills is is just standing there. Good job, Mills. Well done. <laughs> I like I like your style. Just sort of standing there, not doing anything. Yep, well done. I, I admire it a great deal. Ah, we've been given an extra little challenge to build a signal relay. And we get 1,000 monies for it. Oh, yes. Did we unlock signal relays? I can't remember if we unlocked them or not. They're going to be... Where are they? Facilities? No. Uh, where would they be? I thought they'd be under infrastructure. Did we not get a signal relay? They're not under facilities, I don't think. Utilities? Are they under here? Signal relays? Ah, yeah, there. What do we need? We need two bonds. We've got no bonds at the moment. I think as soon as we get two bonds, we get ourselves a signal relay. Right, let's just move people through. How many more do we need? Ah, this could be really good. As soon as we do this, we should hopefully have enough bonds, as soon as these people move around, to actually get that signal relay. Because that pays us 1,131 monies. That's, that's untold money right now. That's a lot of cash for us. Right, good. So the bonds are in. Signal relay. Let's procure that. Splendid. Right, where is that? Facilities, possibly? Uh, infrastructure? No. Utilities. and Signal relay. Okay. Map platforms to numeric key press to make calling trains easier. Now, where does it live? Where does this thing have to live? Uh, it must build in a control room. Ah, Okay. <laughs> right, we need a control room. Uh, where's one of those? Okay, there. Now, can we sort of build... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Right, we have to put the floor down first. Right, pause time for a second. Time to do some sort of building work. So let's put a control room just there. Let's put a control room just there. I'm trying to think ahead because we need to get another platform down. And the best place to have another platform is here. This is where the train can go. This is the track. And we'll build that entrance in. So the only thing is, we'll need a little bit of money to get all this setup done. So if we could get 1,100 monies, whatever it was, that would be really useful. So let's see if we can do this. So infrastructure, control room. Right, make a control room. Pop the door just there. Ooh, we've got a control room. It's very exciting. However, we also have no money left to get. So how much is it to build uh, one of the, where was it? Signal relays? It's going to be really expensive. 300 monies. Well, of course it is. Right. Let's go back to waiting for a bit. <laughs> Let's just manually call the trains until we can afford 300 monies to build ourselves a signal relay. And yes, just checking the time. Quarter past two, which means that Taylor is booked in to go and have to sit down, which he's doing. Is Mills also booked in for the same time? Yes. Okay. So that's good. So that works. So they're going in here, they're having a drink, they're having some food, whatever. That's quite good. I like that thing. Hang on, Reed will not have any of that, will he? Uh, Reed, you can go, we'll have the last two bits like everyone else. You can be sort of there and there, maybe. You can have an earlier break. So a little sit down there. Then you've got this, you've got the sort of the evening session, if you like, Reed. It's absolutely fine. You'll you'll do really well at that. 
Okay, we've got 335 monies. Let's put down the signal relay. Now, I don't know how this works. I've no idea. Let's put that in. Now, we should get ourselves £1,131 from doing this. So, it costs 300 Yes, yeah, so we should end up on about a grand, I would have thought, if we do that. So, yeah, sort of, uh, what, 1100 or something like that? So, yeah, let's do that. So, we've got 1400 Okay, this device needs to be connected to a train track. They can call a train by pressing the F key number of the platform on your keyboard. Oh, I'm on wiring mode. Uh, can connect relay. Okay, so connect that to there. Ah, so now I can just press F1. So wherever I am looking around at the place, I can just go, right, F1, that calls a train. So the little sort of notification thing will pop in on the right there and go, there's a train. Do it, call the train now, please. And then, yes, then the train, you know, I can call it by pressing F1. Okay, that makes things a bit easier. Um, Mills, 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 Mills. I'm going to move your litter picker to the top priority because there is a bin there that's looking a bit full. Now, I was hoping that you'd kind of go and pick that up, Mills, to be perfectly honest. There's a bin there that's got some stuff in. It's got quite a bit of rubbish in. Three out of ten. And I was hoping that you would go and pick it up. Hoping your perception was such that you would pick it up but 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 you're not don't, i'll tell you how to do that that does confuse me a bit i would have unless they don't consider three out of ten enough to you know warrant going and emptying the bin however mason mason is stood next to a full bin her one job is to do litter mason why aren't you doing i don't understand i don't understand why she's not doing that properly i don't get it because to me, she was stood next to it with a litter picker. Why doesn't she just actually get on with the one job that she's got? But there we go. So now we need to get another line in. So we need to build some stuff over here. So this is probably going to cost us a heck of a lot of money. So we need to start building a little bit over here. Have we got to build out from this way? And connect it up that way? Right, hang on. I'm going to press F1. Oh, yeah. Signal relay called the train at track one. Yay. <laughs> the signal relay works. Yeah, I don't think we can use that there. I don't think we can connect that up. I oh, know that's under... Is that underground? That might possibly be underground. Yeah, hang on a minute. Hang on. Pause time for a second. Uh, toggle Earth tiles. Ah, yeah, they're coming in lower down. Park Lane comes in a level down. Okay. Right. We can't use that currently because that's going to get complicated. <laughs> so at the minute... Let's keep it on this level. Right, okay, we don't need to worry about that then. So we need to expand this out a little bit over here. This will cost us quite a lot of money, I think. So let's have a little bit, a little corridor sort of thing going through the middle. And then is that going to meet up to that bit? Yeah, there we go. A bit like that and a bit there. Configure your signage. There is no route from entrance D to platform one. Entrance D? Where's entrance D? I uh, haven't got an entrance D, have I? Entrance D to platform one. Platform one is just here. And you can get on the thing and it's fine. What's this? Configure signs. There is no route. There is. Entrance D is here and you can walk onto the train using this here. Yeah, that, that's... I don't know what's going on with that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ignore that and pretend that that's not happening. So now we have to expand this out a little bit. However... We are going to run out of money. In fact, do you know what? Do you know what? No, 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 no. We need to... It's coming up to the end of the day. We need to sell that because we need to be able to pay our people for the wages or they're just going to get a bit cross. So, right. Let's move time on. We might need to get to the end of the day, get everybody paid, see what money we've got left, and then we could try and put in another track. I would like it to be about the same length as that one if at all possible. Ah, now this is a little bit better. Facility not powered is causing us a little bit of reputation loss, as is it being overcrowded. That's fine. Gloomy. Okay, gloomy litter and rats, 1%. Yeah, that's fine. We can cope with that. High prices is a little bit weird when the rest is like, you know, you've got retail bargains. So that's a little bit conflicting. That's just people's opinions. Yes, facility not powered. It looks like we haven't got enough power. So we need... What do we need? 5.5 .5 power and we've got Oh, we only produce five, do we? Oh, that, that's possible. That's possibly the issue there. <laughs> maybe we need, maybe we need a little bit of a bigger room down here as well. Okay, right. Uh, yep, yeah, let's see what happens then. Let's get to the end of the day, see what money we have remaining. It might be that I just sort of run it through another day. Just run it through a whole other day 
and just see what happens and just see what money we can get because we're going to be very hard pressed to build anything over here um until oh hang on we could could we have that on two sides we could have people boarding that on two sides if i build this properly can we because we could have people on this side <gasps> oh that would be quite good that'll be good hang on why isn't everyone going into the little room what time did i tell you all to go and have your breaks hang on uh, three. Oh, right. It's not quite three yet. Hang on. Let's just watch them all run in. It should get to three. They should all <laughs> go quick to the break room. The telly needs to go on immediately. Okay. There's a little thing here that says a thief has entered the station. Where is the thief that has entered the station? Also, we do need some more power. Let's call the thing. Where's the thief? Has the thief cleared off again? Did the thief enter the station and then think better of it, knowing that uh, that Taylor was on the case there, and then decided to not bother? I don't know. Right, read. Read, 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 read. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm in the build mode. Hang on. Come out of build mode. Right, you. Read. Start refilling generators. Pronto. We need more power. We don't have enough power as it is. <laughs> We've only got 86 monies. Right, Taylor, also go over there. Mason, you can just stand and look at a bin, because yeah, that's how you roll. Yeah, we need more power. We need more power to this place. But they cost 300 each, I think, to build. So, oh, dearie me. And we could fit one in that corner. Oh, the cost. I just need more monies. Building a phone box gives us £1,000. We're just over £1,000. Why don't we try and get this? It's two bonds to unlock. We'll do that. Now we should be able to get ourselves a phone box. How much is one of those? 250 So we need to leave it going for a little while until we can get ourselves a phone box... And then we might possibly, if we just expand that floor out the tiniest bit just there. And you know what? Let's sort of complete that corner off, actually. Let's just let's get that whole bit back into play. And then we can put the phone box over in this corner. That'll give us a grand. And that might give us the money we need to start building this bit over here. And Ethan Taylor has leveled up. Oh, marvellous. Okay, right. Let's increase Ethan's stamina. Because he's only got a stamina of one. So it goes half as your staff member recovers after doing stuff. So yeah, let's make sure you recover a little bit quicker. I mean, you're very good. You're very good at lots of things. So yeah, let's get your stamina up a little bit. That makes sense. We'll level you up. Well done. Yes, that is excellent. So yeah, he's got a little bit more stamina. Hopefully that will help in the long run. Oh, look, and he's just sort of regenerated. He's sort of Doctor Who style regenerated. Well done. Well done, you. Okay, it's taken a long while to get there, but we can finally afford a phone box. And for that, for some reason, the mayor will give us over a thousand pounds. So let's build a ye- Oh, yes. Oh, it's a beautiful old style sort of red phone box. Yes, we'll put one of those in. So now we've got ourselves 1,196 monies. Granted, I mean, the phone box does have a man kind of wedged into it permanently now. Is he stuck forever? No tickets. No, not in a phone box, sir. <laughs> However, I think you're going to be stuck there for all time. Oh, dear. Is that going to bring down the uh, your opinion of you know, our sort of rating? Because you're stuck in a phone box. Yeah. That might have not been the best idea to put it on him. I kind of thought it would just move him out of the way. <laughs> now I've condemned a man to a life of being merged with the phone box forever. Hang on. Can we can we move this? Uh, hold left click to move. Yeah, we might have to move it because he's going to be sad. Moving objects when your station is open incurs a penalty on reputation for the inconvenience it causes. The larger and further you move an object, the higher the penalty. Oh, I'm moving it just next door. Reputation penalty. A tiny, tiny hit. That's fine. If it frees that man up to go in and buy tickets, then that's probably got to be a good thing. Okay, now let's just use a bit of our money that we've got to expand that out. Nice. And now, infrastructure. How much is it going to take to get a platform in? 720. Three carriages. That should be fine. That's all we need at the moment. So let's do that. Let's say yes, please. Let's spend that. We get a grand back, which is nice. And now we know how many people we need to move. So the next goal has appeared. 667 commuters. Call trains until you have shifted enough commuters. Unlock a second carriage. Yes, yes, I've got the second carriage in, for goodness sake. I've got all that done. Don't worry about that. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Now we know how many people we need to move around. So we need to start, start configuring this just here. So the alighting point on that side... Nice. However, oh, there was a big sparking noise. Oh no, and the entrance test has broken. Right, more, more. Go and rescue everybody. Go and save the day. Because now people can just walk through and we need some method of crossing over there. However, what we could do is just here, we could have two alighting points here, couldn't we? 
we could have that, and then we need some way to cross over. Now, did I buy one of those? I can't remember. No, I think a footbridge is going to be a good thing here. Staircases means that we have to mess about with the height thing, and we don't need to start digging and going underground and you're going to different levels. We can just put a little footbridge in. Three bonds, we've got eight. It is going to cost a little bit of money, but we've got that money. So yes, please, we'll do that. And then, I imagine it's in infrastructure, a footbridge. Yeah, let's just put the footbridge just there. In fact, yeah, let's put a couple in just to make it flow a bit quicker. So we'll put one there and one there. So two lots of people can start going over. And I would like to, if I could, make a little corridor just there going over to that track as well. That would be great. Also, we're going to need some more power, I rather suspect. So let's try and drag out. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that. No, 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 no. I don't, I didn't want to. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Um, how can I undo, undo that? I want to expand the floor. I want to expand the floor that way and then that way and then and then that way. And then I want to make that into uh, where is it? That into which which room is this? A utility room. So turn that into a utility room like that. And then we're going to need to get ourselves at least one more generator because we're just not generating enough power anymore. So let's put a generator in. And now we have no money again. Yay. But hopefully we have enough power to do things. No, not enough power. No botherations. Okay. Oh, hang on. What was that noise? Was that the noise of a thief? Was that the noise of a thief? There's no route from entrance D to platform two. I think there is. I think there might be. Hang on. What do we need to do for there? Go to platform one. Ah, platform two signage. Ah, okay. Yes. And pla oh, that's just the exit. Oh, that's fine. That just says that's how to get out. Okay. So we've done that. So entrance can go through to just there, but we've got no power. Of course we haven't. Right. <laughs> Let's see if we can get enough money. Oh no, hang on. Thief, thiefy, thiefy, thief. Right, you, Ethan Taylor, go and apprehend this criminal immediately. You are a naughty man, sir, and we will send you to jail. Even though I don't have any actual powers to do that, but there we go. Away with him. Go to jail. And now, Ethan, good job. Uh, back over there yelling at people with a megaphone. What, what a life you lead. Right, we've got enough money for another generator. Another generator is desperately required. So there we go. Another generator. Is that going to sort the power problems out? Seemingly not. We need more power. Do we really? How much do we need? Minimum power needed 8.7. How much do we generate? I don't know how much we generate. How much do we actually create? Power generated 7. Power needed 9. Oh my goodness me. Oh my word. Yeah, we don't generate anywhere near enough power. Okay, maybe we close that platform for now. Can we just close it for the minute? Just say no, it's shut. Oh no, we can't close it. Now it's open and people are going to be going to it and they're going to be getting sad. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh dear. Joe, you know what though? At least we can call this train. So, you know, something's working at least. Oh, look at that. I've craftily summoned a train in over here. Even though it looks really awful, there's no power now, so everything's going to go wrong. But it does mean we can shift some people. It does mean we can move some people. And eventually, when there's power, that train will go. So yeah, really, I'm just trying to get to another 300 monies to get another generator in. How many generators do we need? Can we improve that in some way? Can we get better generators? Is that a thing that we can get? Or is that something we earn later on? Yes, look. Level 2 generators we get later on. We can't even get it in this station. We could get that, a capacitor, storing a small amount of excess power. We never have excess power. <laughs> we don't have excess power. That's not how this place works. Has that train managed to go? No, the people are going to get very, very grumpy on there, aren't they? Um, can, can someone just give us a tiny bit more money, please? That'd be that'd be brilliant. Just just, just eight, eight pounds? I know. They don't have to pay wages, though. Um... Okay, right, let's run it on to the end of the day. That train's going to be there forever. These people are going to have to sleep on the train. <laughs> They're not going to be very impressed with me. Okay, so end of the day, we have paid our wages. I think we're still paying wages because the money is coming down bit by bit. So everyone's happy their journey's complete. Various other happy reasons. The big problem there is overcrowding, and it's going to be over here because we've not got anybody over here yelling at people with a megaphone, and we haven't got the PA system either. And re really, we can't redo much else. We need to get another generator in to make everything work properly. Otherwise, everything's just going to fall apart. Now, Reed is doing a very good job. In not very many minutes, you're all going to run into here and have a little sit down, which is fine. So, um, right, let's see 
tomorrow how long it takes us to get 300 money. Yeah, look, all the power's going out and everything. <laughs> oh, no. Somebody, somebody, just plug us into the grid or something instead of using generators. How antiquated is this? Just, just find an extension lead and plug everything in. Oh, no. And more Mills and Taylor get paid at a different time. So I've not got enough money to pay these people. <laughs> so they're not going to turn up for work. So, oh dear. Right, okay. Reads on the case with... I don't know where Reed's going. Oh, is Reed going for his sit down? Oh, that's fine. Reed, you go for a sit down. Mason is just... Mason's also sitting down. We've got no staff members. The whole place is just anarchy. It's... it's. Oh, hang on. But... But... If we could just get... Two pounds. Somebody buy a ticket. Yes. Excellent news. Right. We can buy ourselves a generator and the generator will hopefully mean yeah i know we've got no more money but that might mean that we can actually power both tracks uh yeah there you go look both trains are going we've not got to move many more people before this level is done let's move another train i like the signal relay thing so ideally we have another signal relay attached to that track can't afford it right now now can we bring our staff back can we get some of our people <laughs> to come back in and say can you please come back um, place on shift. Yeah, all of you people. I can't afford that person. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> There's no money left. It's all good. Oh, and no one can leave either because the exit thing is broken. Um, who had the... Oh, no. Right, Taylor. Oh, this all got complicated. Right, let me equip all the people with their relevant sort of tools that they had. And then I must remember to actually keep money in reserve to pay people's wages. Uh, and was it Reed? Were you good at repairing things? Who was good at fixing stuff? Actually, Taylor is not bad at fixing stuff either, but he's much better at dealing with people. So yeah, Taylor, go grab the megaphone. Um, I think uh, Reed, yeah, Reed, go and grab the repair kit really, really urgently, please. You need to go and mend that. Oh, he's going to have to put something away. Uh, okay, put Reed, put the mop down. Put the mop down. Go and grab the other thing. And then, yeah, you're going to run off and fix that, which is good. Good job. Brilliant. No, oh, it's, oh, the train is... Oh, right. The train is broken as well. Oh, marvellous. Do you know what? We'll call that train. <laughs> oh, this, there's no power. I know there's no power. Wait, really? Hang on. How full are those things? Well, those generators... How many generators do you need to run a relatively small station? Oh, my goodness me. There's so much power requirement. We need to fix that train. Tempers are fraying in your station. Yep. Can we just feel angry when they are late, overcrowded, and when they see litter? Yep, yep, I know. Their anger meter will rise. I know. If we can just move a few more people, everything will be fine. <laughs> everything will be good. It probably doesn't... Ha oh, no. Oh, no, right. That, that is a violent person. Okay. Who's good at dealing with violent people? Uh, security. 46, 54 mills. You're not doing anything at your mills. Are you just stood about? Where's mills? Mills, whereabouts are you? You're supposed to be relaxing. Mills... Go and get the crime desk thing and then go and deal with this I irate person. I think everything is just broken. Everything just broke all at once. So the train broke, the turnstile's broken, and this ticket machine's broken. Somebody here is kicking lumps out of somebody on the ground. <laughs> oh my god, Mills. No, 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 Mills. Oh, Mills, I... Oh, my goodness me. Mills, I thought you were actually getting on with what you were supposed to do. Go and stop this criminal, Mills. Don't just go for your break. Go and stop an active criminal. <laughs> Right, now there's a knocked out person. So now we could do with you going to get the first aid kit. Oh, just somebody, just move six more people for goodness sake. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> just summon this in. And then this absolute shambles can all go. There's no power. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm on I'm on the case. Let's move this person out of the way for it. Yay, right, okay. Good. So reputation came back in. Right, we can, oh no, I can't do that. Hang on. We can, we've done it. Just, we've completed it. <laughs> in probably... The worst display ever seen. There's no power. Everything's falling apart. The bins are all full. It's all, it's all gone a little bit wrong. But do you know what? We've finished it. Uh, two out of three tracks built. Uh, doors awarded footfall bonus. One out of three. That was that one, I think. Um, oh, So we started with 60. And because of the absolute shambles of this day we're on, because there's no power or no anything, it seems. The power requirements are a little bit crazy. One, two, three, four. Seven generators. Have we really got that much stuff? No, eight generators. Five, eight generators. That's a lot of that's a lot of power requirements to just get two tracks and a couple of things in a phone box and some ticket machines. But okay, so noted. Next time, need lots of power. Um, and we had four goals outstanding. That's absolutely fine. Do you know what? I, 
we will have to come back and improve this place <laughs> at some point. I don't think it's going to be very hard to do because this place is an absolute shambles. But let's go to the map. Let's just leave this place. We've done it. and We can just pretend that that, that was a, an absolute triumph. And next is Zone 3 Chestnut Corner. Let's just click it and have a look. It's very quiet. Litter is often a problem at Chestnut Corner. So is the problem here, if it's very quiet... Is the problem here going to be getting footfall through? Is that going to be the issue? So, you know, it's quiet, which is lovely. It means, you know, less litter and less violent people, all that kind of stuff. But maybe we're going to struggle to get people in paying. So maybe we might have to up our prices on that kind of stuff. And you know what? We shall figure all that out next time because, yeah, we'll finish up. This is a perfect point to finish up. So uh, we've done Tarkas Paddock, albeit somewhat shambolically. And then Chestnut Corner awaits us next time out. I hope you can join me there. If you have enjoyed this, then please do leave a like. <laughs> please do leave a like for shambles. Please leave a like for this absolute <laughs> nonsense of that final day. And if you are not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here in Overcrowd. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Run, 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 Ted, 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 run quicker, Ted. Oh, Ted is green. Oh, dear. Timmy is looking very bad. Okay, there's still the same amount of water. I'm guessing we didn't get robbed. Ah, we got robbed. In no way is this going to break the radio, Ted. And you've broken the radio, Ted.